most important thing for the Patriots, Patriots are in control. The most important thing for good Patriots is the following. You must secure all the transmission lines, all the wire services, and you must have, we got to have <clears throat> people, Patriots, on all the, the wire services, any, you know, control points where the wire services could be damaged. In this way, it's not looking very good for them. However, if it goes offline, such as if the bad guys, the Kabbalists, install a bomb, this is the kind of stuff they do all the time, install a bomb uh, at a major wire network, like the wires that go underneath the Pacific Ocean, to take out that system there and bomb those wires so those wires are cut, for example, for wires that are the wire services for your banking systems. That would mean that the banking just goes offline. That means it off, it's offline. It's turned off. Okay? Now remember, the world is a very, very big place. It's very large in distance. They cannot control over large distances like that. It's all local. This means that if you go to a bank, say Wells Fargo, there's an actual ATM. The actual ATM needs to have a power supply, and the power supply is generated by a local generator, probably within one or two blocks away. So it's right there. It needs the electricity to run the electronics to, to get your ATM card in there. So it's not from like, oh, across the ocean or something. You know what I mean? It's bullshit. But there's hacking going on. It's hacking war for, for stopping the payments for going through. See? Stopping the payments. So, so if a patriot wants to get out $100, they try to block it so he cannot get the money out because they know who that guy is. And he's going he's gonna to use it for patriot purposes. Okay? So it's important that the patriots are behind the scenes. So that's why they're going down into these bases, into these places. The main, the main thing is to stop China. They kill people. They want this, this a global enslavement agenda with only 500 million people. I don't want 500 million people. We'll find a way to survive with 8 billion people. We've been surviving with 8 billion people on this planet for the past many years. 10 years, 20 years. Nothing has gone wrong. People have had food. They paid their bills. Mortgages and stuff like that is all ending. All the banking system, old banking system is ending. It's now going to be kind of like what... You need the money for the thing and they give you some money for the for what you need it's not the mortgage and the housing real estate thing is over like you can't you can try to get your people to pay their rent you know but the government part is over like property taxes i think it's over they've tried to collect property taxes from poor people that can't afford you know the property tax thing is over see what i'm saying all this government thing is the IRS is over. All this stuff is over. You could try to collect. There could be IRS agents trying to collect, but you know that stuff is kind of over because it's going to just collapse. There's, with the economy economy collapse, people are not going to pay the IRS. Just, that stuff is kind of all over and seen as an evil scam, and they use fear and stuff to. to so that kind of stuff is probably over. I don't know 100% sure, but I think that stuff is, is probably over. Okay, we all got to keep praying. Prayer is good and do positive things. That kind of stuff is over. So don't be scared by people. The point of it, so what else, what else is what I wanted to say is the most important thing is that the wire services, these, these you go to the bank to get money out of the ATM. If that's not working, the Kabbalists could hack the underground. The, there's still some of these guys remaining. But those guys are going to hack it so that you can't get your money out. That's not acceptable. You got to be able to get your money out to get food and gasoline. Okay, so that's why the Patriots are back there, making sure that you can get your money out and clearance to get, you know, two gallons of gasoline, right? And and some food. You're not going to be getting uh, just hundreds of gallons of gasoline, and there's going to be rationing for gasoline. Go to gas pump. It's just two gallons per person. See, this is what limits the global takeover. Okay, because nobody's going to be driving from here to Vegas every weekend, burning up tons of gas. There's, there's not going to be, you're not going to be able to control faraway places. It's all going to be controlled by local patriots. It's a chance for everybody out there to stand up and help out your community, defend people. You see a girl laying on the ground that, that, that stabbed her foot and hurt, scratched her foot on the concrete and she's bleeding. Go help her out. Go, go, go take off your shirt or something and, and dab that thing off and, 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 and help her out. Make sure she gets back to her home or something. People are going to be helping each other out a lot more. Help somebody out. Do something great in your communities. When Trump said, make America great again, and this is happening. We're making America great again.
okay? We're all patriots. We all want to survive. Nobody here has to die. The bad guys, they want everyone dead, except just the basic people that they need to run their corporations. And that's the agenda. So you, you pick a side, is what you do. You pick a side. You're either working for those crooks doing that kind of stuff, and you believe in killing everyone, and you getting yourself with a chip stuck in you where they can kill you if they, once the Chinese move in, you're dead anyway. Or you can go the more freedom route, which has become a freedom patriot. For now, help everyone out. Stop evil agendas, okay? Keep the information going. Keep the stuff on. Kind of side skirt the system. Don't be, you know, don't be, you know, um, in trouble with any of these evil things because it's considered Kabbalist at this point. It's just this kind of shadow government stuff. Is don't be in trouble. Don't do and don't do anything wrong. Don't murder anyone. Don't get involved with any bad things. Um, you know, don't do any crimes. You don't do any crimes. You're not in trouble or anything. All the lies of the past they tried to make you look like oh that's the sphere stuff. You know, and, 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 and like, you know, all evil things. Um, don't do any evil things. The Cabal has been trying through the entertainment and movies to get everyone to kill each other. It's literally what they do, all their movies. Like Satanism, like, kill yourself, worship the beast. That's just going to kill you, and it's going to kill the people around you. The Chinese, they move in. They don't give a fuck about that. They have a whole different culture. They have this, 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 this 5,000-year-old culture. They'll shoot everyone and take over their thing because they want the control. They don't care about your life. They have way less caring about lives than the Europeans. They have way less caring about the lives than, than even the, the Jewish. They just want power. They have way less caring about the lives than, than, than Christians. The Chinese carry, carry way, way less about other people. They don't care about other people. Christians are good. They're the best. Free people are good of all sorts and shies and shit. And you're also doing the, the patriot route. You're also doing it to help other people, which empowers people to jump into action and to save other people's lives. That's what empowers people to jump into action and keep it a freedom system. Don't fall for the scams. There's new things to learn out there. Who cares if you would learn about the secret space program? Watch David Wilcock. I mean, what can you do? The speaker's space program, so what? The Space Force, remember Trump with the Space Force thing he's trying to do? That's a great idea. That's fine. But what we don't want is this, this world government kind of thing forming. We want every country free and can can put their their say in to to to, you know, uh there's going to be a United Nations, maybe. This keep the United Nations as a, as a kind of like a governing body in Geneva, Switzerland, so everybody can put their vote in there and they can say what they believe. Like we're we're an independent country, and we don't we don't want to be a part of that. You know, we got plenty of military on our own. So if you really want to fight us for it, try to fight us for it. It's not going to happen. All the and then have good communication between all the other countries and between all your friends. That way, all your friends are like, we're not a part of that shit either. Try to fuck with us. So there's going to be probably a big war if people don't understand about this. And a lot of soldiers out there need to, your local soldiers need to all, um, you know, I don't know 100% if this is going on or if the dark side is already taking over in some places. But I think for the most part the dark side is not taking over because people don't want to be part of enslavement agendas. The corona thing is a fake. We saw them spraying water in the streets in China. It's all a fake to try to scare people. So... Uh, patriots are in control. Patriots are in control. That's a good thing. Patriots are in control. That means uh, free people are out there in control. Um, don't follow the China thing. We can, we can, we can. You, you pay money and stuff. You'll get your China products little by little. And there's manufacturing facilities of other in other countries, Malaysia and stuff, because they can also kind of slowly run, run, run other countries down and try to take over. Because if the product is made in China that you need and you don't get it, then they control you. They can kind of you weaken you as they have the stuff and they'll be able to sell the stuff through made in China products. There's going to be a big smuggling thing going on, which is good. Anybody can, can, can kind of like, like how much for that? Like barter, like give me one of those chargers, okay? I'll pay you and then you got it made in China. There'll be a big thing about, uh, you know, made in China chargers and products and stuff. Like you got that, I'll give you some food for that or give you some money for that. Okay, cool. That's why cash has to remain. You see, if they, they try to get rid of the cash, it's a whole, it's a government versus free people agenda. You can basically see the idea of what it is now, of what, through describing all this. It's a government control system com versus free people. And the government want to hype up how powerful they are. They're not that powerful. We're all people. So that's the all the people. Free people is, we're all people. We're all humans. You don't want to be controlled by an actual computer. So we're all people. See, we're 99.9% .9 is patriots. Get it? 
the thing, the government thing is a mind control agenda, trying to convince the people that the computer is controlling you, and, and, and that's what you should follow, see? And, and follow the official narrative, follow this fake thing, it's, it, it, you know, and, and, and Pompeo was great with what he said, it's, it's, it's a training exercise, it's a live fire, live training exercise. This calms everyone down, gets you understand, it's a training exercise, it's a training exercise, you're doing a great job. Trump, you're doing a great job. All the Trump family, you're doing a great job. Pompeo, you're doing a great job. Uh, Mike Pence, the military guy, or whatever this is, Mike Pensacola, or whatever his name is, you're doing a great job. You're an outstanding guy. Uh, you guys are doing a great job. Keep America free. Don't get don't get uh, suckered into this evil Chinese scam. They will kill you, people. They will kill you. China doesn't care. They will kill you. They want to own the land. They already calculated that they own California. They can get food for all their people. They will fucking kill you, these Chinese guys. So stay away from them. Arm up. Get the National Guard and the armories and to start training everyone. Don't you don't have to scare people too much. It's fine, you know. Uh, women or whatever watch a, a TV show. There's plenty of great TV shows on. Have a great time with that. The guys will bring you the food or whatever. <laughs> I can solve your issue in like less than a minute. Okay, so what's going on with that is that these 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 guys are hiding, hanging out in bases or underground facilities or buildings in different places and kind of trying to coordinate events like that and so that's why a mayor or some of these corrupt bureaucrats or these these deep state guys or whatever will, are are like you know that's why in many cases the QAnon the president and that's why they got all these lists of who to round up see because these guys would be like keep working on on telephone coordinating things from there like you know coordinating on on all kind of things from there you know, like putting in money, coordinating things, putting the money through the, they get money through the electronics, then jump in their car and drive. You know, they can send money electronically. So because they can send money electronically, they can basically hang out anywhere in the world and withdraw funds there and keep living there. See? And the, so that's why the banking system and the, the hackers, the NSA, and see how many different components of all of this stuff there is. It's all interconnected. So this is why the NSA and the computer hackers can see, they can see the bad actors, they can see where they're at, like, oh, that guy there, oh my god, and this guy, and they'll, they'll pay off these guys, they will pay off these shadow agencies, they'll pay off people in the NSA, they'll pay off people within these things to, to get them on their side, and then say, oh, that guy's good, you know, Jonathan Stafford, oh, he's good, man, yeah, he's good, I'll give you another 10 grand just to make sure John Stafford is good, 10 grand. Pretty good deal, ten thousand bucks. <laughs> That'll help me out for a while. Okay, no problem. And they give you ten thousand bucks and make sure that John Stafford is okay. John Stafford is over there, like <laughs> I'm running my thing. And this way, they can keep their stuff going. So this is kind of a shadow war or a shadow World War Three going on. And because it's it, it's on the internet, it's out. Like everybody is talking about it on the internet. That they're gonna try to to to, to get that social media stuff cleared away. This is why the military QAnon patriots are, are, are securing in various ways and backing up backup methods of this internet social media stuff, backing that stuff up and securing it and, and, and make sure that its servers are online every day, the way that it doesn't go offline. Because if that go, that's the communication network is, is the, is the, um, is the, um, Execution, you know, it's it's the the social media, all this in the internet, is the communication system for the patriots, and uh, for anyone who wants to go on there and, and, and talk and learn and stuff. Okay, and that's the the positive kind of communication you can learn stuff on there. And I think it is apparently true that what. What's his name said? What Steve Montley said that they're going to be military is going to put through the television, through the television, the Patriots through the television systems, are going to blast the QAnon message through the television systems to help everybody understand what's going on, that there is a change in the government, all the evil corrupt guys, and and explain all this to the people who are watching the television so they can know what's going on. And because during this time is like kind of uh, the government is telling people not to go to work and stuff those are the people with the money and the power position that want to keep people enslaved and we're slowly transitioning from the satanic system from the age of Satan into a different system into a Jesus Christ driven system 
where people are now helping each other more based upon kindness, love, fun, compassion, helping others, make some money and help others out, work together with others. It's not this all for me, I work for myself in this giant corporation where I own everything. It, that That is ending and clearly dying and, and going away because these corporation heads, are, they're running for their lives. They, they've done something wrong, they're, they're running. They tried to make a scam system with everyone enslaved to them, get it? While they were making millions, CEO was making five million per year while the employees were like making minimum wage. The employees were making eight bucks an hour, you know, uh, and, and working, driving these great distances and stuff. And, and that's kind of the scam, this, this house of cards that's collapsing. And, and, and the reason it's collapsing is because why is it really collapsing? Why can't the system just keep going? Because the Chinese have... It's, it's just kind of deteriorated. I don't really know why it can't really just keep going. I guess the gasoline, right? The gasoline to go to drive such great distances is not... It, it, it's too expensive to run the gasoline for these enslavement corporations. And, and all the mechanization machines are taking over. They don't need people to work there. So the CEOs are now like, ha, ha, ha. I don't need this, 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 this minimum wage worker for $8 an hour anymore. You're fired too. You guys can all go home. I can control it through the technology. It's this rise of technology, and, and, and they're trying to chip people and everything like that. But they have money sources also. They have a lot of money, so they can pay their own security guards. This is a big deal. They pay their own security guards, pay their own militaries and stuff like that. But Donald Trump is like, no, no, you can't do that. Uh-uh. And he comes in with, the, I'm the new guy in town. You can't do that. Hire military to attack the people? No way. You're all fired. You're all under arrest. So it's really going to be kind of like military versus military. See? Like, uh, that's what a war is. Security guards and military versus military and that's why everybody every person should be a little bit have some military skills Or know how to drive well put your money and, and, and go to the ATM quick handle your business And they will try to defund the Patriots that will try to make it hard to get your money if you're a Patriot or doing positive things the bad guys is, will, 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 will try to do that and there's there's good guys out there like angels are camping around good guys who are learning about this and and uh, I see in a, in a slower state of mind it's a little hard to understand what's going on but they, they mean they back keep the money systems running so that you can get money when you need to get money as long as you can get money out of the bank and you got money f flowing into your bank account from some different sources if you don't then you, you also want to want want any restrictions to end so you can get back to work and the bad guys don't want the people. Why they're under these stupid orders? Like, oh my God, we're under orders. So those guys will get fired immediately. And put someone in that lets everybody go back to work. And in money, they can trans. The bad guys will transfer money around. They're they're basically removing these bad guys. That way, they cannot transfer money anymore to these militaries. They cannot fund right the martial law militaries. They cannot pay the guy the the military workers to do the martial law they 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 cannot fund it they don't have any source of income they cannot fund them and then there's nobody to fund the military there's no martial law it's just people who want to help out kind of a little bit you know and they're just like standing around like everything's fine like I'm just like guarding the bank you can go about your business so that's what we're going to see like just security guards standing around and stuff like that just kind of making sure that nobody's really killing each other, right? Making sure nobody's breaking down glass windows and getting in and stealing everything. And and then, you know, if something like that would happen, they'll say, stop it. Get away, get, get, get away. Stop And they'll be like, and then they'll, be, they'll run away and they say, stop it. And, and, and kind of stop them from doing that or guard the stores from doing that. And then they can arrest someone if you broke, someone broke in and did everything. They can, they can try to apprehend that person or maybe drive after them or something, you know. They try to make some consequences, right, for someone who shatters the store window and tries to get everything, you know. Um, and they'll, so there'll be more security guards around and something like that if that if it happens. But not just a little tiny bit, and hopefully not too much. And um, that's it. Everybody go back to work and be happy. Oh, the mayor and these guys will be stepping down because people need to go about their work and stuff. One more last little tidbit. Bounty hunters will be around to try to, in some cases, to try to get the patriots, you know, bounty, the, because the bad guys will hire bounty hunters. So I'll pay you 20,000 bucks if you can get that guy or something like that. You know, the bounty hunters 
will be around. That type of person, bounty hunter types, will be around to try to stop the Trumps of the world, right? The Alex Joneses of the world, you know, that, that are actually helping out, okay? Um, and then, so the bounty hunters will be to try to get the bad, the good guys, the patriots, the, the white freedom hats, the freedom hats. Um, and then the really bad corrupt guys, they're going to have police and this kind of authorities, polices and, and, and investigators like, you know, going after them. Groups, larger groups of those kind of guys going after them because they know this shadow politician and they can hear through the airwaves, right, the NSA and so the paid, they can, they can hear what that, the chatter of what that person is doing. And they're like, you know, they're kind of like, it's, it's almost like a, turns into like a dog-eat-dog -dog world, right? For the bad guys, it turns into a dog-eat-dog -dog world, which what we've seen on the internet. Like the guy said, like, why don't we kill them, kill those bad guys, hang them, hang them. Like this, 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 because that's what these guys, these evil guys live on, that kind of power and, and, and threats. And that's what, that's the kind of thing that those bad guys are into. That's why the angels, good people, angels, they don't have to worry about as much of that. You know, you're not, we don't live on this kind of evil power-based stuff. But it's not something that, that good people are into, like threatening people and everything. Not as much, but still just a little bit, because you got to pay your bills and keep things going. So just not as much. The devil gene is recessive. The Satan gene is the recessive gene, and the dominant is the, the, the strength Christianity is the dominant gene here, the dominant characteristic. So... The really bad corrupt guys, like the corrupt mayor and stuff like that, they will have teams or groups of people going after them. And they're like, no, sir, you need to step down. You need to let these people go back to work, sir. And, they'll be, and he'll be like, no, but there's a virus scare. And it's like, there's no virus scare, sir. It hasn't been shown that, you know, it hasn't been shown that it, it's affecting all of the people in the city. So you need to let the people sit go back to work, sir. They'd be like, no, they flee, and then they flee and run away somewhere, okay? I mean, the good guys flee too, but the bad guys will be fleeing to run away, and then they'll try to conduct business from this faraway location, which is what they've done. They try to, to hold down the whole city and, uh, you know, what, tell everyone they can't go to work, now you flee, take off somewhere? It's absurd. So they're seen as criminals in that way, that they higher power position person, blah, blah, fleeing. So now they're going to be... Bounty hunters coming after them, and, 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 and investigators coming after them, like, like, to arrest them, basically. To stop them from doing more rigging from behind the scenes. And, and, like, calling their buddies on the phone, calling their security guards on the phone to, like, keep the people suppressed and stuff. Because it's, it's a great kind of freedom of awakening um, going on. And it seems that the white hats, the freedom hats, are in control... And they've got a lot of knowledge that the Freedom Hats are in control. Um, good people, like real people, good people are in control. And this is actually true. It may sound a little bit like, is that trustworthy? But that is actually apparently what's going on. But there's also some dark forces who have some money. And they would try to depopulate all the people. This is their evil agenda. How can you, they're trying to kill all the people in L.A.? It's like millions of people. See what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's crazy. Not all these people are, are into the truth or internet stuff, but a lot, some of them are at this point. But what, you're going to like kill all the people in Los Angeles to depopulate the people out? But they, they could try that. Will they try that? It's insanity. So they're trying National Guard. National Guard is not going to load people in trucks. It just sounds absurd. It seems crazy, see? They get the city like on on hold or something, like waiting for nothing, it's just absurd. So the, we don't really know what could happen. It's like, imagine a World War II. We don't know what could happen. Hitler's attacking from the one side and his propaganda machine, and the other guy is in France, and then they're attacking with tanks, and that's why Trump sent tanks to Europe. See how one thing leads to another, to understand what's going on. But the bad guys, so that basically concludes it. Like you basically arrest these bad actors, because they're still on the phone calling shots and stuff from the underground bases and stuff and the patriots are going into bases and military patriots are going into underground bases and, 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 and busting down there to, 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 to get these, these 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 criminals out of there because they're driven by saving people's lives and and there's a lot of people in cities here all these people in the cities do not need to be 
under threat of any martial law. They don't need to be under threat of anybody telling them what to do. They don't need to be scared. They can be happy going to work. And the bad guys know that their 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 time is up. They can't control all these people. People are waking up. So they're basically fleeing and running away. It's it, it, it's scary. It's scary shit. But it's not happening. It's scary shit, but to upload my videos because what is going on people it is a control grid and The first world attempt to control the world was under Hitler He would try to attack every country put everyone in camps kill as many as he could and try to control all the rest into some giant Society of control with everyone goose stepping into this Aryan race and all this stuff for power So that was the first attempt Hitler. This is now the second attempt with China the Patriots um, the Patriots, the QAnon, and America has woken up to it, okay? They still are pushing this corona thing or whatever, but I just saw the thing, that comment, let's read off this comment again. I just heard that the mission is done in Europe and all soldiers are coming home, getting ready for what will go on in April. You understand what that means? They're basically the soldiers are coming home to defend America against these attacks. It is two basic factions, okay? It is the quote-unquote shadow government, okay, a government which wants to kind of control everyone and move along and mass chip everyone, and put the control of the technology and control the technology. They want the technology to control you. That faction wants and is funding, they're funding and giving money to kind of make the world with 500 million people on it or less so they can control through the control technology systems from underground locations. This faction is called the Cabal. We just, it's been called the Cabal for a long time. It's been, just been called the Cabal, C-A-B-A-L. It's basically a Jewish atheist group. It doesn't believe in God or helping, nothing like that. It's all about money and Satanism and power and control, the same kind of thing. They went through the computer chip and everything. This, it's called the Cabal. And we're in this time period now where the technology is at that point there's activism going on on the internet the cabal is being questioned people all the old methods like hospitals and stuff are going out of business there's no one sick anymore so they're making them sick with the 5g with these poison things chemtrails because they want to continue the power continue the old system we the people don't want to continue uh, the old system like a forced labor camps you know the way people are forced into work every day in many places and government telling you what to do and uh, so we the people you know don't want that that's the so that's the second group which is the freedom group it's freedom group patriots will help each other out we don't want to get we're not going to computer chip someone and through the technology control them and force them i'm not going to do that instead i'll go buy a soda and, and bring it to my buddy and get him soda you want some food we'll buy some food and get some food to you uh, you know, you can hang out in my houses, you can do security services for me if I trust you, just based upon Christianity. So it literally is Judaism versus Christianity. The Judaism is a power thing, go in this, and now I'm the boss of you, I tell you what to do, go, round them up, fucking round them up. And they said, no, you, you round them up. Said, oh shit, they're finding me. So that's the cabal group, and they want to dig themselves under the ground and be down on the ground and control things with technology and everything. And that's the cabal group, it's a giant war between them. And they also are controlling the airplanes, and they've been making the airplanes in China. These X-22 little duplicate Raptor X-22s, an X-35, the same as the American X-35, this little little airplane kind of little thing they designed. The Chinese have the same. They made a copy of it. Okay, so the main faction group is also Chinese. Is this main shadow government. Everything's manufactured there. Goose steppers and control. They, they have horrible sweatshops. The Chinese have sweatshops. The big owner of the thing is like, I'm the owner. Run the computers. Turn the computers on. Get everyone working. I have like thousands of people all working, working. And, and then get it working, right? And all like working, working. Okay, okay, have a little mask on, face mask. Okay, we're working. So you don't want to be under that kind of tyranny. If you speak up, they'll just fucking kill you. Like, and put you in a body bag. Kill them. And then that goes out. And just like that, dude, if they don't, if they don't like what you're doing, they'll just kill you and move on. That's it. They don't give a shit. So we don't have a choice with that system. It's not the, it's not a very good system to go with. We, the freedom system is better. If you can't run your thing through the computer, I'll try to run my card and get you something to drink. What do you need really? You need to drink? Would, well, you need you want to have a car, you can drive my car, you know, it's not a big deal. So that is the Freedom Group, a.k.a. the Alliance. There's a lot of disinformation going on. There's people that send out the wrong information to make it look like join the thing. It's okay. Join the, you know, the, the, the fucking coronavirus is the problem. Get everyone chipped for the coronavirus. And that's that faction's promoting that agenda. 
See? To try to get you to, to chip yourself and put a little chip and now they can track you. Now you're like, oh, fuck. They can see me. Ah! Ah! It has a fucking thing that zaps you and controls you. Ah! Now get to work. And the Chinese are like, oh, you! You! Dead! They're dead! We don't need them. Move into position. And the Chinese will all take over. They don't need you. They'll just kill you. If you're a security guard or whatever, you don't speak their language. Sing time, my top five, I read order. They don't need you. And we, we know this. They don't need The Chinese will kill. They, they have enough soldiers and they'll take over. Then they get to eat and they get to live. Then they get to live in and take the houses and they don't, they don't want to give the house for you. They want the house for themselves. So that agenda we don't want to do too much. It is a live training exercise, what, like what the guy said there. But the guys in government are kind of like pushing the chipping agenda because, you know, they don't want to riots inside their own country. So they want to push the chipping agenda to control the people because the people are slowly going to find out about this. See? Okay, so it is a time where this could be chaotic events going on. Prayer is important because the prayer is going to bring out the goodness and the holiness and the positive vibrations in people. That prayer, that friendship, that love, we, we can make this happen. We can stay away from the evil things. We can make these good things happen. We can all be free, relatively free. You know, you put your chip in there, you put your, your credit card in there, and you get your money out. You know, not a big deal. So, you know, so we, the prayer, the love, that's what we have to do. A lot of prayer, a lot of love, friendship with family members, and make that those positive vibrations shine. Love you, buddy. Love the work you're doing. Keep everything free. And, and so let's read this again. I'll try to upload this video if I can. I just heard that the mission is done in Europe and all soldiers are coming home, getting ready for what will go on in April. Remember, Obama wanted to send the troops out of the country so they would not be here to defend America and stand up to any kind of resistance thing. So Trump has kept the military strong so they can uh, so they can actually defend against cabal and shadow stuff. So I mean, can you trust the military? Yeah, if they're awoken to defend against the cabal because the cabal troops could hire is deep state. They could have police officers or or they can have, you know, these, these kind of black guards that what what they said they're going to do, one of the bad things is that they're going to try to overwhelm the White House with black soldiers dressed in black, and then they can just bring in the Chinese, and then they're ordering, they're controlling everything. See what I'm saying? So the the, the, the bad guys will use shadow attempts to, to control, and that's why we need the military in North America. We need the military here, because they're going to say, no, no, I don't know, you, you Chinese guy over there, I'm not going to have you stop bothering that family. It's a family of... of, of, of of, of a woman and, and, and her father's like, we want to go home. What's going on here? Like, go home. Go home. It's okay. Go home. I'll take care of it. Get in position. And then and then our military guys will say, no, we're not going to go along with that. Leave these people alone. It's a literal war. It's a World War Three. It's boots on the ground in different places all over the world. They can, can be quite scary, but the bad guys also don't want it to be seen as an open war. They want everything in secret. To pre everything is secret. Okay, so we got to pray. Prayer is important. For to, to empower people to do good things and to leave people alone. Don't try to control them too much. But the government don't want people rioting, so they'll try to push the chipping agenda as much as they can. Because then you can control people more if there's riots and outbreaks and stuff like that. So it is really weird. So, But again, the two factions are what? One faction is cabal, the guys are underground and secret and control, and want to make everyone go to work and just, just be slaves, and then you get the money through the computers if you're a good, good slave and shut up and just go to work. That's the control cabal, and, and they have some, there's some, there's some reality to that, you know, just go to work and do your thing, and you can get money out of the thing. They can control giving money through the ATMs, the Rothschild, the Jewish network banking is through the electronics now, see? That's the underground cabal kind of system. The patriots have to work with less money, okay? But they can be out in the open and showing themselves and talking to people and stuff, but they risk having some cabal guys ar around. But you don't want to bother these great people. These are the good people. These are the patriots. These are the, the people who have love to, to save people. They'll save everybody. They will save everybody. They're not going to kill anyone. They say, let that out. We're going down. And the patriots are going underground into these underground facilities to open up these facilities uh, search through these tunnels and stuff. It's like a video game. Search through these tunnels. And then if, if some, and the, most of the people down there, they don't want to die over this nonsense. So they'll be like, oh, fuck this. And they'll try to run away and stuff. And then so the Patriots are slowly taking over these bases and stuff. And they'll be holding these bases out secure and stuff. I say, what's up? Good to see you, man. <laughs> Just like I said hi to that guy the other day. Gave him a wave. Up. He said, what's up? Good to see you. No, no, I, I don't want to get killed. You don't want to get killed when we're not fighting each other. What the fuck? We just say hi. You know, like, what the fuck? You know, so we, we kind of, you know, um, keep our facilities going at our location and ammo is going to be big trade and ammo, guns and everything like that and, and try to keep things decent, try to keep things open and free 
that people can get their food. You, you put your card in or whatever, get your food, bring cash. We're going to keep the printing presses for cash going. Uh, Trump has seized the Federal Reserve. It's kind of a big kind of crazy thing. So the good guys, they have access to money. They have access to cash, and Trump is funding them. They're, they could be Patriot guys. It's QAnon. It, it is true. QAnon is... is, is, is um, the patriots are in control. Patriots are in control. This means that uh, patriots are in control. You got good guys out there. These people don't want to murder anyone. We don't want to control anyone. You know, you're free to go about your business. Patriots in control. This is very stressful to stuff. And um, so it is shadow government, aka underground cabal. It's basically through the video cameras and, and the fucking video cam and, and these Illuminati guys. They got some of these people. That, and these Illuminati guys, some of these like people that we've seen, the thing, like the one sh the one guy showed his head, like, look, I got a big Illuminati thing on my chest, big triangle. These are the guys who are, in some cases, Jewish families and, and this kind of stuff, you know. They just want people to move along. They just want you to just go be happy, okay? Be as happy as you can. Don't make too much trouble out there, all right? And they try to scare people a little bit, you know, go be happy. So I'm going to work on my happiness. I'm going to go to move where I want to move, start building car museums, go to college, car collections, and try to stay away for the most part, try to stay really far away from this stuff. As this stuff goes on, it's an ongoing thing. Sometimes bigger battles will be happening. Sometimes nothing for months will be going on because it's very hard to fund. Funding soldiers and stuff is hard to do. And getting soldiers on streets and stuff is hard to do because everybody will make making videos like, oh my god, their soldiers are in it. What are they going to do? Try to enter houses? You're not entering houses, man. <laughs> You're not going to bust through there. It's not. It, it, they can get shot at and shot back and can have gates and stuff to block it, you know. The security guys will come and say, hey, and shoot at them from far away. It ain't happening. So, um, patriots in control. Just pursue your own happiness and your own goals for life. It may be a little rough out there, but keep working toward these goals in your life. You can do it. Like, if you want to live in Switzerland or whatever, go move to Switzerland. You can do it. Be a good person, productive and stuff. They'll let you in, and you're a happy person. You, you're not a, a troublemaker. You're not going to murder people or try schemes or something. No, you're not. Okay, so they'll let you in. See what I'm saying? You want to go to Alaska, then move to Alaska. Alaska may actually be a really good idea. Alaska sounds nice to me now. All of a sudden, <laughs> you move to Alaska. You want to move to Alaska, go move to Alaska. Start it now. Get a job. Be productive and help people out. Nothing's going to happen to you as long as you're not like some kind of fucking criminal trying to rig everything and, and, and trying to coerce people. You know, you, you get money from work. You're not going to get a thousand dollars or a million dollars, but to get some money to keep rolling along. And there's gasoline, there's electric kind of there's electric cars, there's gasoline, there's different systems. We have some electric cars and some gasoline cars. Gasoline cars need to be maintained. You have electric cars, you have gasoline cars, and we have the Little little card that goes in the ATM card to pay out cash. I'm tired. I made the video. I'm tired. There's a lot of information. Most important thing for the patriots. Patriots are in control. The most important thing for good patriots is the following. You must secure all the transmission lines, all the wire services, and you must have. We gotta have <coughs> people, patriots, on all the. The wire services, any you know, control points where the wire services could be damaged. In this way, it's not looking very good for them. However, if it goes offline, such as if the bad guys, the Kabbalists, install a bomb, this is the kind of stuff they do all the time. Install a bomb uh, at a major wire network, like the wires that go underneath the Pacific Ocean, to take out that system there and bomb those wires so those wires are cut. For example, for wires that are the wire services for your banking systems, that would mean that the banking just goes offline. That means it off it's offline. It's turned off. Okay. Now remember, the world is a very very big place. It's very large and distance. They cannot control over large distances like that. It's all local. This means that if you go to a bank, say Wells Fargo. There's an actual ATM. The actual ATM needs to have a power supply, and the power supply is generated by a local generator, probably within one or two blocks away. So it's right there, and needs the electricity to run the electronics to, to get your ATM card in there. So it's not from like, oh, across the ocean or something, you know what I mean? It's bullshit. But there's hacking going on, a hacking war for, for stopping the payments for going through. 
See? Stopping the payment. So, so if a patriot wants to get out $100, they try to block it so he cannot get the money out because they know who that guy is. And he's going to he's gonna use it for patriot purposes. Okay? So it's important that the patriots are behind the scenes. So that's why they're going down into these bases, into these places. The main, the main thing is to stop China. They kill people. They want this, this a global enslavement agenda with only 500 million people. I don't want 500 million people. We'll find a way to survive with 8 billion people. We've been surviving with 8 billion people on this planet for the past many years. 10 years, 20 years. Nothing has gone wrong. People have had food. They paid their bills. Mortgages and stuff like that is all ending. All the banking system, old banking system is ending. It's now going to be kind of like what... You need the money for the thing, and they give you some money for the for what you need. It's not the mortgage and the housing real estate thing is over. Like you can't, you can try to get your people to pay their rent, you know, but the government part is over. Like property taxes, I think it's over. They try to collect property taxes from poor people that can't afford. You know, the property tax thing is over. See what I'm saying? All this government thing is the IRS is over. All this stuff is over. You could try to collect. There could be IRS agents trying to collect, but you know that stuff is kind of over because it's going to just collapse. There's, with the economy economy collapse, people are not going to pay the IRS. Just, that stuff is kind of all over and seen as an evil scam, and they use fear and stuff to. to so that kind of stuff is probably over. I don't know 100% sure, but I think that stuff is, is probably over. Okay, we all got to keep praying. Prayer is good and do positive things. That kind of stuff is over. So don't be scared by people. The point of it, so what else, what else is what I wanted to say is the most important thing is that the wire services, these, these you go to the bank to get money out of the ATM. If that's not working, the Kabbalists could hack the underground. The, there's still some of these guys remaining. But those guys are going to hack it so that you can't get your money out. That's not acceptable. You've got to be able to get your money out to get food and gasoline. Okay? So that's why the Patriots are back there, making sure that you can get your money out and clearance to get, you know, two gallons of gasoline, right? And, and some food. You're not going to be getting uh, just hundreds of gallons of gasoline. And there's going to be rationing for gasoline. Go to a gas pump. It's just two gallons per person. See? This is what limits the global takeover. Okay, because nobody's going to be driving from here to Vegas every weekend, burning up tons of gas. That there's, there's not going to be, you're not going to be able to control faraway places. It's all going to be controlled by local patriots. It's a chance for everybody out there to stand up and help out your community, defend people. You see a girl laying on the ground that that, that stabbed her foot and hurt, scratched her foot on the concrete and she's bleeding. Go help her out. Go, 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 take off your shirt or something and and dab that thing off and 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 help her out. Make sure she gets back to her home or something. People are going to be helping each other out a lot more. Help somebody out. Do something great in your communities. When Trump said, make America great again, and this is happening, we're making America great again. Okay? We're all patriots. We all want to survive. Nobody here has to die. The bad guys, they want everyone dead, except just the basic people that they need to run their corporations. And that's the agenda. So you, you pick a side, is what you do. You pick a side. You're either working for those crooks doing that kind of stuff, and you believe in killing everyone, and you're getting yourself with a chip stuck in you where they can kill you if they, once the Chinese move in, you're dead anyway. Or you can go the more freedom route, which is become a freedom patriot. For now, help everyone out. Stop evil agendas, okay? Keep the information going. Keep the stuff on. Kind of side skirt the system. Don't be, you know, don't be, you know, um, in trouble with any of these evil things because it's considered Kabbalist at this point. It's just this kind of shadow government stuff. Is don't be in trouble. Don't do and don't do anything wrong. Don't murder anyone. Don't get involved with any bad things. Um, you know, don't do any crimes. You don't do any crimes. You're not in any trouble or anything. All the lies of the past they tried to make you look like oh the the sphere stuff. You know, and, 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 and like, you know, all evil things. Um, don't do any evil things. The Cabal has been trying through the entertainment and movies to get everyone to kill each other. It's literally what they do all their movies. Like Satanism. Like, kill yourself. Worship the beast. That's just going to kill you. And it's going to kill the people around you. The Chinese, they move in. They don't give a fuck about that. They have a whole different culture. They have this, 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 this 5,000 year old culture. They'll shoot everyone and take over their thing. Because they want the control. They don't care about your life. They have way less caring about lives than the Europeans. They have way less caring about their lives than, than even the, the Jewish. They just want power. 
they have way less caring about the lives than, than, than Christians. The Chinese carry, carry way, way less about other people. They don't care about other people. Christians are good. They're the best. Free people are good of all sorts and shies and shit. And you're also doing the, the patriot route. You're also doing it to help other people, which empowers people to jump into action and to save other people's lives. That's what empowers people to jump into action and keep it a freedom system. Don't fall for the scams. There's new things to learn out there. Who cares if you would learn about the secret space program? Watch David Wilcock. What can you do? The secret space program? So what? The Space Force? Remember Trump with the Space Force thing he's trying to do? It's a great idea. That's fine. But what we don't want is this, this world government kind of thing forming. We want every country free and can can put their, their say in to, to, to you know... Uh, there's going to be a United Nations, maybe. This keep the United Nations as a, as a kind of like a governing body in Geneva, Switzerland. So everybody can kind of put their vote in there, and they can say what they believe. Like we're we're an independent country, and we don't we don't want to be a part of that. You know, we got plenty of military on our own. So if you really want to fight us for it, try to fight us for it. It's not going to happen. All the and then have good communication between all the other countries and between all your friends. That way, all your friends are like, we're not a part of that shit either. Try to fuck with us. So there's going to be probably a big war if people don't understand about this. And a lot of soldiers out there need to, your local soldiers need to all, um, you know, I don't know 100% if this is going on or if the dark side is already taking over in some places. But I think for the most part, the dark side is not taking over because people don't want to be part of enslavement agendas. The corona thing is a fake. We saw them spraying water in the streets in China. It's all a fake to try to scare people. So... Uh, patriots are in control. Patriots are in control. That's a good thing. Patriots are in control. That means uh, free people are out there in control. Um, don't follow the China thing. We can, we can, we can. You, you pay money and stuff. You get your China products little by little. And there's manufacturing facilities of other in other countries, Malaysia and stuff, because they can also kind of slowly run, run, run other countries down and try to take over. Because if the product is made in China that you need and you don't get it, then they control you. They can kind of you weaken you as they have the stuff and they'll be able to sell the stuff through made in China products. There's going to be a big smuggling thing going on, which is good. Anybody can, can, can kind of like, like how much for that? Like barter, like give me one of those chargers, okay? I'll pay you and then you got it made in China. There'll be a big thing about, uh, you know, made in China chargers and products and stuff. Like you got that, I'll give you some food for that. I'll give you some money for that. Okay, cool. That's why cash has to remain. You see, if they, they try to get rid of the cash, it's a whole, it's a government versus free people agenda. You can basically see the idea of what it is now, of what, through describing all this. It's a government control system com versus free people. And the government want to hype up how powerful they are. They're not that powerful. We're all people. So that's the all the people. Free people is, we're all people. We're all humans. You don't want to be controlled by an actual computer. So we're all people. See, we're 99.9% .9 is patriots. Get it? The thing, the government thing, is a mind control agenda, trying to convince the people that the computer is controlling you, and 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 that's what you should follow. See, and, and follow the official narrative, follow this fake thing. It's it, it you know, and 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 Pompeo was great with what he said. It's 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 a training exercise. It's a live fire, live training exercise. This calms everyone down. Gets you understand. It's a training exercise. It's a training exercise doing a great job. Trump, you're doing a great job. All the Trump family, you're doing a great job. Pompeo, you're doing a great job. Uh, Mike Pence, the military guy, or whatever this is, Mike Pensacola, or whatever his name is, you're doing a great job. You're an outstanding guy. Uh, you guys are doing a great job. Keep America free. Don't get, don't get uh, suckered into this evil Chinese scam. They will kill you, people. They will kill you. China doesn't care. They will kill you. They want to own the land. They already calculated that they own California. They can get food for all their people. They will fucking kill you, these Chinese guys. So stay away from them. Arm up. Get the National Guard and the armories and to start training everyone. Don't You don't have to scare people too much. It's fine, you know? Uh, women or whatever, watch a, a TV show. There's plenty of great TV shows on. Have a great time with that. The guys will bring you the food or whatever. <laughs> I can solve your issue in, like, less than a minute. So this... Okay, so the QAnon thing, again, I think is a legitimate thing. It's a real thing. But there's also a mind control movement by these deep staters to, to try to make it look like the QAnon is a fake, to try to make it a fake. 
Okay, but the, the QAnon thing is a real movement because I've seen the QAnon posts. I've seen the way he talks. He's angry at the criminals in the deep state. He's angry at these, at these bad things. He wants people to learn the stuff. And he's a military. QAnon is mi for military intelligence. And it's just one or two or three. But the fact is one or two guys, is, that's not very realistic. Is, but, but it is like one or two guys. But there's a lot of anonymous is also posting and everything. And... The QAnon thing is real. The Jade Helm stuff is a deep state operation. There's a massive deep state stuff that is funded, has money, and is, but they don't want to get found out. And if the military is in North America to some extent, they can stop the deep state things from happening. This is something amazing. And, and, and like, let's say some trucks are going up to do something and round up people or what. Like, the military can come up and say, like, no, 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 you can't do this. Like, get out of here. No, you can't do this. So it's almost like these agencies can go against each other sometimes. Like, the military guys can go against it. But it, it depends on location. It's all about location, location, location. Like, if they're in uh, Toledo, Ohio, running an, an operation in Toledo, Ohio, then some military guys would have to go to Toledo, Ohio to... um to um you know uh to um uh, to stop the deep state guys there with whatever they're trying to put all the citizens of toledo ohio in camps or whatever see they'd have to actually be at that location to stop them which is why i think it's not a good idea so for any military guys they should not go to europe don't go to europe Stay here in North America and man the homeland. North America is a very big space, big area. You know, we need the military guys here. And stay on comms and, and, and but it's really about location, location, location. There's vast distances between locations and it's just it is absurd how big the distances are, how compartmentalized everything is, it's just absurd. That's why someone like Trump, like, how could you take on something like that? Like, joining these politics crazy guys is just absurd. And it shouldn't really be one president. It should be, like, ten presidents, like a bunch of people, like a board move. And, and that their mandate is that they have to appear in front of cameras, like, seated around a whole bunch of guys, seated in chairs. And then they have to solve the problems that the people tell them, like, these are the problems you have to solve. And then these guys are like, okay, we're going to do that, that way. That, that would be like real problem solvers, like the debt crisis, we're going to do this and this. And a bunch of problem solvers. Like more people. Instead of just one president. But I guess it, 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 I guess it makes more sense just to have one guy. It's kind of simpler, just like there's the one guy. You don't have to have, like, a lot of people. And so it is like the March... 23rd it's like March 23rd and I just learned it, some new stuff about what this craziness is all about what what this craziness is is apparently involved with this this internet craziness and all of this stuff of coronavirus scare and the local stupid government like local mayor or whatever tried to make a martial law type of thing or trying to make a nobody go to work and all this kind of stuff to try to kill off everybody, depopulate, so, and then I figured out what it is, um, it's not gonna happen, what is basically that comes down to, I just went through it on, on the social media, I was looking at it, it means that these old corrupt bureaucrats, they're trying to, uh, control everything, oh yes, and they also, they paid Chinese, so that if everybody's, not moving much or whatever for two weeks this gives the Chinese enough time to lift off their airplanes and then they're they're lifting off their airplanes from China refueling in Europe this is why the American mil this is unfucking believable this is why the American military has deployed M1 Abrams tanks and stuff to shoot down the planes as they are lifting off from China right now probably or in the in the future, they're going to be lifting off from China. They're going to be flying toward America that way to try to control the world, which is what Hitler was trying to do back in those days. And the social media has discovered their plans and, and, and showed all these guys with their evil plans. 
the, it, it, it showed everything. Everybody just figured this stuff out. And it's like, oh my God, like, it's all showed on their plant. So they're going to be landing their planes in Kazakhstan. This is the next step over. And then in Europe, and there's no, they can't really refuel. The plane is going to have to refuel. Planes are going to be refueling in, they're doing it by airplane. Um, and the Americans are landing tanks, M1 Abrams tanks, into Europe. So they're going to be landing in Germany, in Italy, and then into England. And from there, launch across the ice into America. And that's going to be Canada, and landing in cities of Canada, taking over Canada. And there's going to be military battles in Canada. That's why everything's locked, tried to not have anyone move. And, but the military is all over. But the Chinese have a lot more airplanes a lot more people like troops and everything and they've been goose stepping for a long time so this is pretty amazing but it's very 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 bad obviously so i suggest for people to stay away from the cities actually it's probably the best as this as this kind of well so this is actually what this is apparently i don't know if it's if i'm right but apparently it's world war three <laughs> it's world war three and they don't really want people to know that this way they can make the world war three happen without anybody knowing and all of a sudden Chinese troops are showing up in the airport and rounding everybody up killing everybody and they had then they're in power then the Chinese everywhere they own they, they got the houses cities and everything they own your country they kill everyone and they got a massive city with all open houses they're king of the world okay so that is what is going on like I said before World War three has kind of started and they want it secret that way can they make a secret takeover and own everything it's pretty crazy and so in this kind of a time when I suggest people would you do need a source of money a source of income and stuff but it's probably a good idea to really stay away from the big cities since that will naturally be where the largest amount of fighting and 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 it's World War three so um, a largest amount of fighting and attacks will take place You've noticed that the local government is paid off. They are, um, they're, they're thinking that there's some coronavirus or something, something to give them, right? Something to keep them occupied, something to scare them. That way they're all scared and cowering in the corner. Meanwhile, they, they can't do anything. They have confused, they have no idea what's going on. Meanwhile, things can happen for these elites and they're controlling it from underground facilities and everything like that. So I'd suggest actually to people to leave the big cities at this point and uh, because there could be martial law, which means military troops, you're not allowed to go out, kind of the same thing, curfews, this kind of thing. Um, and what's the point of being in the city if you can't work there? What, what's the point of being there if you don't have any point, employment? This is, what are you doing, just sitting around doing nothing? So waiting for, is this nothing? Any, any, any... Any fucking, you know, fucking uh, homeless guy can, or, or smart, smart little guy can, can figure out in five minutes, like, what the fuck, you're sitting around with nothing, what the fuck, let's get out of here, let's go do something. It's only a sedentary public who's used to watching television and stuff all day long would be that stupid to just fucking sit there and be like, oh, I guess we're just going to sit here until they tell us what to do. <laughs> so, um, yes, leave the cities, go to some small, small town out in the middle of nowhere. If you can afford to do so and uh, hang out over there and go to work over there uh, meet new friends over there work for them over there ask around everybody to work and help them out over there and um, stay away from the big city so making make, an, make a, a place to live away from these cities because the cities are gonna get a little bit worse on and, and Trump and everyone else knows about this so they are going to remove from the job and probably hold these evil mayors and the evil politicians and stuff who, who, who are trying to lock down the whole cities and kind of like 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 a spoiled child like hold on to all the people we got these people under control so that's not okay all these people need to work and be productive and have their own lives not be under some kind of fear tactic for the people it's disgusting so they're gonna fire all these as well as CEOs are stepping down their whole empire is crumbling and breaking away so and they got a lot of money from the CEO stuff so they, they take the money and, and go hide out somewhere <laughs> and that's it <laughs> and so um, that's what's going on so um, the underground explosions like I said it is World War three type of scenario so 
there's underground explosions in these underground bases because there are passageways and the Chinese are trying to come through. The Chinese want a hostile takeover to own all of North America. The Europeans, there's some are fighting back, some don't know what's going on, some think that it's a some of them think that it's a corona scare or something like that. So they're just sitting there doing what they're told. Oh, that Lucas guy friend of ours has, has returned. He's come back from years Europe. He has a trip to Europe. He's trip to Europe. He's come back and uh so that's what's going on